problem is says an water heater pressure relief valve operates at 150 psi so uh, where is it pressure is given operating pressure 150 pound per square inch that is given for the water heater it is connected to a pipe with a uh, diameter of 0.5 inch or half inch diameter calculate the cracking force it says find the cracking force how much force it is required just to crack open the uh, valve so let's assume it's using a ball or um, so it's compressing like this so this is the spring they're applying the force and the flow is this way so let me just draw that nice graph like this Ooh. so that's that's the force coming this way and the pressure it says 150 psi uh, it didn't say it's a cracking pressure or the total pressure let's assume it's a cracking pressure just to give an example what's going on here so if you think about a free spring let's say this spring is some this length now is compressed to that point so that is the initial compression so it will exert a force equal to the spring constant times the compression so then we can calculate just find the initial compression now we have to find the force from this P. let's say this is a cracking pressure it didn't say anything just to solve this problem let's assume this is the cracking pressure so if this is the cracking pressure we know the diameter of this pipe which is half inch so area would be um, pi by 4 0.5 square so whatever that is uh, let me calculate that pi by 4 times 0.5 square so I got, hope this is right, 0.196 inches squared. So if I calculate the total force, that's going to be pressure times the area, simple equation. So times 150. So I got about 29.45 pounds of force. That's the cracking force. So the first question is calculate the cracking force so that's done this is the cracking force now it says that if the if the spring constant is this then find the initial compression of the spring so we can use this equation we know the cracking force which is 29.45 pounds is equal to k uh, k is given 100 pounds per inch times the s so s equal to this pounds pounds cancel so the unit for s would be this inch going this side so that's going to be this divided by 100 so initial compression is 0.2945 inches